talk about it, but y'all, let me just get it up out of me, so call me the little bella little bitch. The little the little the little bitch. What's a little bitch? <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Big Grizzly. We back with another story time with Grizz, man. This is the last one, last one, last one, <laughs> last one of the day. This is the first time I smoked weed. Now y'all know the first time I got caught. Well, no, this is technically y'all know the first time I got caught smoking at school. But this is the first time I got. This is the first time I got caught. Well, actually, I didn't get caught. I snitched on myself, but y'all heard more about that in the story. But this is literally the first time I was smoking weed. Honestly, first time ever, 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 smoking weed. And yeah, man, it's kind of fun. It's funny as well. There's a story involved. Like I said, it's a nice little story. So we finna get into this shit. We on the road to 10K. Like, comment, subscribe. I like doing these because this way y'all get to know me a little bit more. My background, where niggas grew up, how niggas grew up, shit like that. Um, yeah, make sure you tap into all the videos. Y'all know we going crazy. Um, shit. Without further ado, Forget it. first time seeing this movie ever. It was the Leprechaun in the Hood, bro. We was watching the Leprechaun in the Hood. I think my grandma was cooking us some chicken and fries or some shit. And my cousin was just sitting there rolling up, and he was. I was just deep in thought. I wasn't even watching the movie. I was just like deep in thought because I was just thinking about a lot. I told y'all, bro. Like my dad and my grandpa dying really like affected me like it really affected me type shit like it really like fucked with me because like i don't know i don't really have a lot of males in my family all like that for real for real like you know you know my shot rp uncle blair you know what i'm saying he was another one of those and also him too i forgot that's another death bro it was three deaths bro those three right there like the men in my family bro like the those are the like you know what i'm saying like those three i forgot my uncle blair he died as well too like my ninth, tenth grade year of high school as well too. So I was still dealing with that. So then I go with my cousin and I'm just, bro, I, like I said, bro, every time I went over my aunts, it was always like, I liked always going up somewhere else because it was like a world away from a world. So like I said, we just sitting there, he's rolling up and shit. And then he was like, cousin, I'm about to go outside, man. You look like you need to stimulate your mind, Craig. He's like, you like you got a lot on your mind. Come, come right with me. Come talk to me while I smoke and shit. And I'm like, fuck it. I mean, and and this is the south side. They lived on the south side, like so. Then this is like the bad, bad part of the south. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna go out with him. I want to go out there by myself and shit. So I went out there with him, and we just get heavy in the talk. I did talking about my dad. I get talking about everything. My grandpa just. The living situation, you know what I'm going through now in school and shit and just trying to figure out, like telling them like I just want to, you know, get out this hood, get out the hood, just, just, I don't know, just, you know, young nigga talk, like I want to change my family, like all that shit like that. And then out of nowhere, <laughs> our boy's like, mm-hmm, he's like this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He do it sneaky, like, he do it like, like somebody was watching, he, he did it like this, it was like. Hmm. I was like, what you doing? He was like, man, hit this shit. I'm like, man, I don't know. He was like, man, you stressing. You got all this shit going on, man. I'm telling you, you take this, take a few hits of this. Let's go get your mind right, man. You just in a bad space right now. He's like, you just got to, you know, get right. And I was like, he's like, I'm telling you, cousin, I wouldn't make you do anything that I wouldn't do. I wouldn't put anything in my shit that, you know what I'm saying? I know how you, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, bam, man, I am, I'm saying. I'm a thinker, bro. I always think shit. I always analyze shit first before I fucking do it. Like, I don't care if I look stupid while doing it. I sit there. I'm sitting there. I'm like, damn, bro. Damn. I'm like, fuck it. <gasps> fuck it. Hit it. <clears throat> Start coughing. Y'all know. Y'all already know. First time smoking weed and shit. I try to go overboard and shit. But, bro. I was so fucking high, bro. I felt so good. I feel like I ain't gonna. I don't, don't want to sound like a weirdo, but like I feel like ain't nothing better than like the first time when you smoke weed, cause like that's the first time you're experiencing that your body's just it don't know what to expect, so you just feel crazy. Like you feel crazy. Like I've had that yet to feel that yet. Like the feeling that I felt when I first smoked weed, like how my how it made me feel. I haven't felt that yet since, you know, since since then. I don't know. Maybe I ain't hitting enough strong weed or nothing like that. I don't know. 
But I'm just saying, like, from that first time that I smoked, I've never felt like that. So after that, you know what I'm saying? My cousin's like, man, we smoking for a minute. I was after that. Bro, he, I don't know what he activated. But after that, like, after, the, like, the first time I, like, coughed and damn near died and shit, after that, I was cool. He was just... We was just going back and forth. I was just doing it like he was regular. He was teaching me little tips. Oh, cousin, you got to inhale or breathe out your nose. Do like that. You know what I'm saying? When you breathe, you do. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you suck it in. I'm like, oh, all right, babe. He telling me shit like that. He, next thing you know, you're like, man, I'm hungry, bro. I want to go to the store. So we go to the store. I know it's outside, bro. Like, it's like 8, 9 o'clock. Store still open. We went to the little hood store. Got some snacks and shit. And we was just came out. And we was just talking. We was just standing on the corner talking. There was this little shorty at the bus stop. I guess she was waiting for a bus and whatnot. Now, my cousin, E, he could sing and shit. And I'm fucking fried. I'm just, bro, I'm just out, just looking around. Just You, you know how you is when you high. You just, yo, what the fuck, bro? You just, I just keep being like, I'm fried. I just feel like I'm high. I'm like, I'm high. I just kept doing dumb shit. And I kept getting stuck sometimes. So, there was this girl at the bus stop. Like I told you, we was just sitting outside of the store. This is right where the store, like, it's the bus stop. And the store is, the bus stop's right in front of the store. So, we just outside of the store talking. And then, like, we walk a little bit. And then he notices her. Like, he turns back and knows. Because he keep looking back and shit. But she wasn't looking nowhere at him. She was, you know what I'm saying, on her phone type shit. And, um... You know, just, yeah, we just walking, and then he, he's like, hey, cousin. I was like, yo, he was like, I bet you. He was like, I bet you I can get her number. I'm like, man, you ain't about to get her number. I'm like, man, you ain't about to, you ain't about to talk to her. I'm like, how you gonna get her number? He was like, I'm gonna sing to her. I'm like, man, you don't even know how to sing. He like, what? I don't know how to sing? I bet. So my cousin go over there. My cousin E, this dude, you know what I'm saying? He started talking to her. Next thing I know, I, <laughs> I start hearing... Yo, I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room, and I gotta admit that I got my tip. You make it, bro. My boy starts singing that Chris Breezy. Excuse me, miss, bro. My boy start. I saw your last dance for you. How I love to keep you here with me, yo, baby. Bro, my boy start, bro. Cause I'll start breaking that shit down. How we shorty start. Next thing I know, I start. I'm sorry, and she started cheesing and shit. I'm like, nah, this nigga did not just do that shit, bro. He's still singing to her shit. So, boom. And then, so, boom, he ended up rapping a song, and then he done with the song. I think he did a little short little verse or whatever, did the chorus too. Then, boom, they start talking and blah, 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 blah. I hear her just talking. Next thing you know, he come back over. This boy got a, you know what I'm saying, a piece of paper with a number on it. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, shit. So, bam, we got the number, bro. Tell me why. We go back home, fried and shit, man. We fried, 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 fried. Cool. Bro, I don't know what happened. My dumb ass, bro, I start to feel bad because my mom's about to come get me and shit. And I'm still high. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? I should not still be high. It's like an hour or so going by. I'm like, bro, I'm still high. I'm like, what the Fuck. I'm scared of shit, bro. I'm scared. I was scared, bro. I'm like, bro, mom goes nah. So me being a dumbass, bro, mom comes picks me up. And shit. My mom comes and picks me up. And I'm getting a car. We drive off. I'm like, my dumbass. I start feeling bad. I'm like, mom. She's like, why? Wow. I was like, I smoked. You did what? Man, I did not see them until like two weeks my mom was so mad like she she low-key blamed my aunt and then like i ain't see my aunt and my i ain't go back over there for like damn near a month like i ain't go back over there for like my, my mom was so bad but i was trying to tell her it was me but it was you know like yeah, yeah bro y'all know how moms be bro she was she was stripping bro that was my dumb ass fault but let me tell you what happened with the shorty though so my cousin so i told y'all it's been a month since i go back over there so the next time i go over there i go see my cousin e I'm like, yeah, man, yo, what happened to that girl? He said, man, that bitch burned me. I said, oh, bro, my boy got burned. I was like, damn. Yo, thank God willing. That shit has never happened to me. Never got burned. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't ever want to go through that. Never want to know what that shit feels like. I don't care, bro. I don't want to burn out my... I don't want to feel like I am pissing fire 
No, thank you. My boy said he got burnt by Shorty. I ain't gonna catch. She was bad too, but y'all know how them bad little hood Johns be like. It's it's risky. <laughs> it's risky, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, that's it for that story, bro. Your boy ended up snitching on himself, and then a couple months later. I get caught smoking out of school, so <laughs> it's crazy, man. Make sure you have like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. We're gonna roll the 10k, man. Biggers.